Greetings from our orbital space base. Hi, this is Wu Lei. Hey, Elaine here. Today we are taking you on a journey through China's space program in 2025. Right, what a year it's been. From two crewed missions to China's first emergency launch, Tianwen 2 asteroid probe mission, as well as a booming commercial space sector, 2025 truly pushed China's space program forward into a new stage. Indeed. And to help us unpack it all and even preview what's coming in 2026, we've got our colleague Sun Ye. Hey there. And our AI companion, Tai Kovac. My pleasure. My databases are fully updated with all the mission logs through December 2025. Ready for liftoff? Then let's dive in, starting from where it matters most, China's human space flight mission in 2025. Welcome to the virtual Tiangong Space Station. This year, China completed two crewed missions, Shenzhou 20 and Shenzhou 21, along with the cargo resupply mission, Tianzhou 9. We saw history made not just by the youngest technonaut ever, but also by four tiny pioneers, the mice, the first rodents to live on the station. So what's new aboard the Tiangong? Let's hand it over to my colleague Sun Ye and Tai Kaba for the details. Hello, Yiling. Hello, Wu Lei. Hello. Tiangong got a lot fancier and comfier this year. It has better exercise equipment. Taikonauts can do crunches, sit-ups, weightlifting, you name it. But the feature that really stole the show, a hot air oven that can roast chicken wings, uh, grilled beefsteaks, and even bake cakes. Hey, our chicken wings are ready. Let's wow. have a try. Thank you. Space barbecue is yeah. for real. Mm. A lot more were delivered to Tiangong this year. There are the upgraded new spacesuits already in use. And there have been quite a few interesting visitors. In April, zebrafish in a small fish tank ecosystem went up to be stationed with the Shenzhou 20 mission. And in October, the four by now famous mice pioneers, whose every movement in space is closely examined, stayed almost two weeks in the space station, longer than expected. And the study is aimed to eventually help people live really long term in space, in a healthy and happy way too. That sounds exciting, Taikabot. But as you know, space travel is as challenging as, well, rocket science. In November, the Shenzhou 20 crew faced a speed bump. The Shenzhou 20 crew faced a speed bump this year when they discovered the window of the Shenzhou 20 spaceship cracked, likely caused by space debris. Right. This triggered a command center to activate a never-used-before emergency plan. Xinye, you are on site covering the return of the Shenzhou 20 crew on board the Shenzhou 21 vehicle. What was that like? It was really unforgettable. We were told that the return mission was postponed just hours after someone from the recovery team told us that everything was set mm. uh, for the Shenzhou 20 crew to return back to the Dongfeng landing site. And by then, the true crews had already completed their handover in the space station. So it was really sudden. And if it were a surprise to us, just imagine what it was like for the Taikonauts, for their families, and for the tens of thousands of people involved. And that is also the first time for many of us, obviously me, that the dangers and the injuries space debris could cause got real. But the other thing that really surprised me is that how quickly a, an alternative plan was put together and put to test. Just nine days after their original return date, the Shenzhou 20 crew was back safely. Commander Chen Dong said on landing, The path of human space exploration is not smooth. It's full of difficulties and challenges, and that's exactly why we do it. I've visited the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center several times over the years, but this November, I witnessed a truly historic moment, China's first ever emergency launch with the Shenzhou 22 spaceship. That's a spaceship that will serve as a return vehicle for the Shenzhou 21 crew in orbit. After less than 20 days of preparations, Shenzhou 22 spaceship was launched into space uncrewed. 
In a three and a half hour rendezvous, it docked with Tiangong, bringing it food, medical supplies, fruit, vegetables, as well as devices for fixing the cracked window. This is the world's first operational demonstration of a rapid launch orbital rescue system for crewed missions, a quiet yet critical milestone for sustaining humanity's long-term presence in space. While the crews remained safe in low Earth orbit, China's gaze was already reaching much further toward asteroids. That's right. In 2025, China also launched Tianwen-2, its second interplanetary mission, and the country's first mission to return samples from an asteroid. Tianwen-2 is a complex and challenging mission, and also a very long one. We are looking at around 10 years. Taikubot broke it down for you before the mission even started in May. Folks, this is what you need to know about China's Tianwen-2 mission. This is China's first asteroid flyby and sample return mission. The probe will fly alongside this asteroid, 2016 HO3, conducting detailed observations of its topography, material composition and other characteristics from a distance of several hundred meters. At an opportune time, it will approach the asteroid to collect surface samples and return them to Earth. Scientists can use these clues to study asteroid formation, evolution, and the patterns of the solar system's evolution. Meanwhile, the Tianwen-2 will continue onward. It will travel to a main belt comet where it will conduct remote sensing analysis studies. Explainer still good. Tianwen-2 is now well on its mission and has been sending app shots and updates along the way. I've been keeping track and happy to report it's on track towards its first destination. And what about the research goals? Part of the mission is to help us understand the early solar system formation, organic material distribution, and planetary defense. Yes, Tianwen-2 also carries international payloads from France, Italy, and Sweden, showing China's growing role in collaborative deep space science. So much to look forward to. Mark your calendars to track Tianwen-2's milestones, or leave it to me. 2025 marked a turning point for China's commercial space industry, not just in launches, but in reusable rockets. Indeed, Chinese commercial launch providers set a record by conducting over 30 orbital missions. And many commercial space companies like Land Space and Space Pioneer also developing their own reusable rockets. Land Space launched its first Zhuquia 3 rocket in December. Even though its first stage recovery failed due to an anomaly during descent, the core mission succeeded. Second stage reached orbit and critical flight data was gathered. And in December, the Longma 12A had its maiden flight. The rocket also has a reusable first stage booster. Wow, it's like the commercial sector has gone on high gear. You know, these companies have been developing their technologies for years. In 2025, many of these long-term investments finally paid off, with bigger missions, bolder tests, and growing confidence across the industry. Forecast. High probability of successful commercial booster landings in 2026. And don't forget, this year, China National Space Administration established its Office for Commercial Space Development, a dedicated body to foster innovation and integrate the private companies into China's long-term space strategy. As we reflect on a remarkable year in space, one truth really stands out. China's momentum is not slowing down, it's accelerating. At the heart of China's 2026 agenda is Chang'e 7, a sophisticated lunar mission targeting the moon's south pole, a virgin thought to contain water ice in permanently shadowed craters. Chang'e 7, together with Chang'e 8, will form the basic model of the International Lunar Research Station, setting the stage for long-term scientific collaboration and human presence on the moon. Meanwhile, Tiangong continues operations and commercial space launches are scaling rapidly. New technologies from reusable rockets to deep space navigation are moving from blueprint to reality. What makes China's space program remarkable isn't just its achievements, it's its consistency, vision, and unwavering commitment to the long arc of exploration. 
We will keep documenting and telling its stories wherever we are. China's space journey always, always worth following. following.